We're also hearing from the NDP, the deputy whip Jenny Kwan. She said the party would be happy to speak to Wilson Raybould about whether she'd like to join them. I have deep respect for her. I have sent out messages uh, in support of her um, position and her stance, uh, in support of words uh, through social media and so on. I wanted to respect her and her space in this very difficult situation that she's faced with. So I didn't want to sort of, um, you know, uh, be sort of in her face about it. But other than to send out clear messages to say that, um, you know, I have huge respect for her, and I think as do many Canadians, uh, as do a lot of women. Would she be welcome if she were interested or expressed interest in running for the NDP in the Vancouver area? Well, the NDP always welcome uh, people who has high integrity, who want to tr do politics differently, who wanted to bring progressive politics for the betterment of all Canadians, who want to advance the Indigenous agenda in terms of reconciliation. Uh, and uh, we would welcome anybody uh, with, uh, with that approach. And so uh, from that uh, point of view, uh, if Jody is interested, of course, we would be interested in speaking with her. All right, let's bring into the conversation Pauline Benj, political science professor at the University of Toronto. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Good. Good to be here. Got to give my head a bit of a shake because so much has happened uh, over <laughs> right. the last few hours. But how does this play, first of all, for Jody Wilson-Raybould? Well, as the clip just showed, I think the NDP will be very, very interested in her because uh, of the position of her really very strong uh, spokesperson ability uh, and stature within First Nations community. So I would say they would grab her up happily. And do you think if she made that move to join the NDP, that would look all right on her. She's been a big advocate for the Liberal Party. She has, but this is not unknown, has not been unknown in the past where a person has crossed uh, crossed the floor to a different party. Sometimes voters in their constituency say, yes, I like the person, I'm going to continue with the person. Others say, no, I'm actually a party person. I'm going to not vote for that candidate anymore. So we don't know what the outcome will be but it won't be a surprise if she becomes an NDP. Okay, what did you make of the Liberal talking point this evening, which was the trust is broken, uh, we can't trust her anymore because of the conversation that was recorded, and because we can't trust her as a colleague, we want her out? Well, that, that's certainly true. I can see that. Uh, she recorded the conversation without advising with Michael Werdick. Yes, she was alone in her condo, but there were, it seems that there were... Uh, text messages going back, could she not have called on anyone to be a witness? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a little problematic, uh, her action plus the entire decision. Uh, but the Liberal Party just really wants this to go away. Mm -hmm. the, this is l really still a sideshow. The main issue was what really does appear to be political interference from the Prime Minister's office to influence her decision. So this is sideshow. We have to keep our eyes on what is the real issue. With thinking about that, did Jane Philpott have to go as well? I don't think so. That, to me, was surprising. Yes, she expressed her dismay, her unhappiness with the decision, but she had no active part in this. So I, that I was surprised about. She did keep that sideshow going, of course, with a late interview. Do you think that was the line she crossed for the Liberals? I don't think we'll ever know that. Uh, but really, the, the Liberal Party is closing ranks, and Mr. Trudeau is trying desperately to regain his grasp on the party. Let's talk about his brand for a moment, Pauline, because many say this is going to dent that brand, feminism, Indigenous rights. What do you think? Certainly, the polls seem to indicate that. Uh, they are split uh, pretty evenly for the ones that I have seen. Uh, he has heavy going, but the best thing Canadians can do now to signal their disapproval of Mr. Trudeau is for contributors to close their wallets. To make the point that they're not happy about what that he has done. That is the fastest way to get Mr. Trudeau's attention and the Liberal caucus to say, we are not happy with the way you... Uh, uh, with the way you handled this situation, because the only real source of income to our Canadian political parties is Canadian residents. Got it. No corporations, no unions. Pauline Benj, i got to leave it there, but thank you for coming in tonight. I appreciate that.